Insulin prices are on the rise, and we found some people with diabetes are rationing their medications to make ends meet. Channel 5's John Paul Barajas spoke to a Valley doctor about how dangerous that can be. Diabetics are being forced to cut back on their medications so they can pay their bills and afford to buy groceries. Doctors say the decision to ration can be fatal. Pan dulce. <laughs> She's a part-time secretary at the Rio Grande Valley Diabetes Association and a substitute teacher. Money's tight. As a diabetic of 20 years, Santa Rodriguez's money doesn't always stretch as far as it needs to. What do you think about the price of insulin as it keeps getting higher and higher? It's outrageous. Really, it, I, I doubt if it takes that much to make. Rodriguez says without the help of her kids, she wouldn't be able to afford the medication she desperately needs. At times, her cost of insulin spiked to $200, making her take drastic measures. What I do is I tend to, to watch what I eat so that I won't have to inject myself that much. Rodriguez admits at times she's rationed her medication due to the expense. Dr. Sumaira McCree says this isn't unusual, but it is dangerous. They can have a lot of more infections, they end up in the hospitals a lot more, they have secondary vascular complications because of diabetes with the result that you see a lot of amputations down here, you see a lot of heart disease in young people. Rodriguez says she understands but doesn't like to ask for a handout, so she takes the risk and hopes for the best. My son's always asking me, do you have your medications, mom? Do you have your insulin? I say, yeah, I do. Sometimes I don't, but I tell him yes. We wanted to know what was causing this life-saving medication's price to skyrocket. Like anything else, whichever is the most important for people, the prices go up for that thing because they, they know that that's what is needed the most. Dr. McCree says diabetes is the most prevalent disease in the valley. She pleads with patients not to lower their prescribed doses of medication. Instead, she suggests you meet with your doctors to find a safe solution. Dr. McCree tells us prescribed doses can be reduced with dieting and exercise. That in turn will lower the price you have to pay. But again, never lessen your prescription on your own. In the studio, John Paul Barajas, Channel 5 News at 6. And we wanted to find out uh, more on information on how you can help yourself. This is a Channel 5 News Extra. Rio Grande Valley Diabetes Association CEO Diana Ramirez told us. If you need help with your diet, and if you need help in managing it in any way, you know, please always feel free to call us because that's what we're for. Now, their offices are located in Edinburgh at 420 South Klausner. Their phone number is 318-1900. And there are ways to save money when buying insulin. Visit our website, krgv.com. Click on the uh, Good Rx. You'll find that in our Find a Link section. Again, that's Good Rx. When you're there, enter your zip code and prescription. It'll pull up coupons for the best deals in your area.